Goldie here and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions and it is Lex Luger Wolfpack. So let's can we let's get the elephant out of the room. Can we look at this upper body? Like good lord, it looks like they like took the body like the bottom of somebody else. Like how do you just how? How? Dude is jacked. And he's got the little ponytail. Does it swing? No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, um, let's take a look. He is an Attitude Era showboat aggressive. He's a coach. And, uh, surprise! Finally have the green coach. Uh, so at 9k, green gems do 2200 more damage. Uh, that was the missing one for a very long time. Now, if we could just get a green gem generator trainer in the game, you know, that'd be nice. Links. He doesn't have a kajillion NWO links like I thought he might. Um, he only has wolf pack. So the red and black wolf pack. Uh, gems do 15% more damage. Attitude Era Link gems do 10% more damage. And just the one standard set of gear. So I'm taking a bit of a different approach with this preview. Uh, normally what I do is I study the card and I jot down a bunch of different move sets that I think will work. And then I set them up and I play them in one go and see how they go. Um, but... Looking through Lex's moves, he is so flippin' versatile. There's a kajillion ways you can play him. So, I'm just gonna, like, try stuff on the fly. And see what sticks, because there's no way... I don't have enough room on my piece of paper for this. So, we're just gonna do it that way and uh, see how it goes. This is probably going to be a long video, but I hope um, by doing that, I hope that we get an idea of all the different ways we could play him. So let's just get right into it. We're gonna start with the three star build and we're gonna do a super sub focus. So Torture Rack is the finisher and they made it literal torture. Torture? Yes, torture. Um, so 10 MP, Random submission, but it generates 20 gems. Do 201,301 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into X break gems. Military press slam is red one for MP. Deal 58,932 damage and choose a two by three area to make into cross break gems. And red two is the running knee lift, seven MP. Deal 82,678 damage and make 12 crossbreak gems into yellow gems. So choose your area to make into crossbreaks. Turn them yellow because it's two by three. They're all going to match. Explode the board and uh, in turn charge the submission. So we're going to go super sub build for, for the first go around. Probably going to run this again with a different um, entourage setup just for gem damage. But I wanted to see... Um, how powerful this sub could be. So we're going to use uh, Striker Austin for 50% more damage, Zombie AJ for three more turns, uh, Tech Drew for 50% more damage on an extra turn, and Acro Shelton for 20% more damage. So we have it up to 442,863 damage for seven turns. So that's like two point something mil. Just under 2.5, 2.4. I'm not the math person. I'm not the content creator to come to you for math. Um, so we're going to go up against Ivar. And for the belt, because he's got X breaks, cross breaks, another build that's gem damage, we're going to do Fury sets the entire time. There's nothing defensive about this showboat. It's all offense. So we're going to do Fury. Uh, for the most part, we're maxed out. Uh, we're going to do a red percent for the red moves because the submission 
we won't get any more damage from the metal except if we use the flat but that would be a one-time thing kind of a waste i'd rather boost the red gems uh the red moves and we're going to use an aftershock plate because we're going to explode the board and like surely to god there's going to be three green gems that we destroy uh so that'll help us reload our red moves since the reds refill the finisher quite easily uh, blowing up the board and the aftershock plate should help us uh, load up the red moves so we're going without an MP trainer because I wanted to get as much damage on this submission as possible uh, tour perks they have been generous this first week I already have the plus two and the plus one on a match so that's going to help and um, let's see Okay, so red match. And military press slam. Choose a two by three. You're gonna wanna put it in the middle. I'm gonna latch onto that, but that's all gonna go bang. Um, so turn those into yellow. Oh, nice cascades. Got everything filled. Uh, but I want them to kick out. Thank you. Because we're going to apply the sub. We're going to take away that wild card first. So, 20 random gems, 442,863 damage for 7 turns, and this, yeah, they made it actually torture. And low-key shout out to Consistency, because the powerhouse has a torture rack as well that also leaves behind X-Breaks, so I, I like to see that. Now what we can do, we have a nice pocket of X-Breaks here, so we can put that there. You see the health just melted off. And then those are all going to turn yellow, we're going to explode everything. Except for like that one gem. See the aftershock plate activated, but it doesn't matter because we took all of his health. So that's super sub. That's a three star super sub build. Um, so let's run that again, but let's change up the entourage a little bit. All right, so we're going to run this build again, but we've switched up the entourage completely. We're moving away from the super sub. We've seen it. Uh, we'll use it in another build, probably. Uh, but we are going to go with like a gem damage board destruction focus. So Butch to get the red moves going on turn one because of our tour perks. Slick Rick to boost our gem damage by 20%. Uh, Santa Hogan for more all gem damage. And MVP. And I know some people are still like, oh, why would I want to use a coach that reduces my sub turns? That seems counterproductive. Uh, it does if you're doing a super sub build, but if the submission leaves behind shit that's going to blow up the board, um, I don't want the opponent breaking it. So, like, when Trickster Edge came out and co-owner Flare came out, the point of that was to have Edge leave as many leech gems on the board as possible so he could turn them into his primary color and heal himself. Um, so, with Lex... We're putting out 20 random gems and they're turning into X breaks and we're trying to explode the board. So I want to leave as many on the board as possible so we can just blow shit up. And if you have not watched my videos before, um, you will quickly learn that I like to blow shit up. 
Um, ask, ask anybody, really. So, we're using that to make it a one-turn sub. We're not doing it for sub damage. We're doing it for, like, total board destruction. Uh, keeping the belt the same. So, full fury and an aftershock plate. And let's, let's blow shit up. Oh, that's a nice looking starting board, too. So we can recycle the reds, like, right away. So, with a full Fury Belt, that adds 20%. Slick Rick adds another 20, so that's 60. And a maxed out gem damage medal adds 30%, so that's 90. So this showboat is doing like 90% base extra gem damage. That's nutty. See, so having the one turn sub means that we've... Well, we haven't drained his MP and all, and he got a black match, so that's probably the worst case scenario. But we've dispersed the X breaks quite nicely around the board. And he just decided to be a butt face and ruin my video, but that's fine. Nobody's perfect. So what we can do... Is... We want to, let's go here, because we can get that one, that'll go up and down, we'll go across, and we'll get these, and we'll get that, which will get that, which will get that, which will get that, okay, perfect. Knee to the face! So nice little 777,000 pin and reload all the moves. Fun! Fun. But that is why you would use the sub reduction coaches. So you can leave stuff on the board. Like it's the same with Showboat Paige when she was the meta female. You wanted to reduce her sub as much as possible because she left protect gems on the board and then you could either do the defensive build or you could turn the protect gems into cross breaks and blow up the board like we just did. So I'm going to stop talking about sub reduction coaches and uh, let's go take a look at another build. Alright, so next we're going to look at the kick out build and we're going to keep the double reds. And we're going to bring in the reversal. It's yellow 2, 6 MP, deal 203,674 damage, kick out of pin, and swap 10 random gems into red gems. Gems broken during kick out do not have any effect, meaning they don't deal damage. Cannot kick out when in danger. So... We're going to do Butch to get going on turn 1 with the red moves. We're going to bring in Orton because I want to see... Uh, how much we can buff this move damage. Maybe not worth it, but we'll see. Um, X-Pac to charge up the red moves a little faster with the random red gems getting thrown out. And we're going to keep Santa Hogan on because why not? Uh, for the belt, we're staying with Full Fury and we're staying with the Aftershock, but I have brought in, um, I found, a yellow percent Fury Metal. So we're doing 106 point five eight percent more yellow uh, yellow move damage with Orton's 45 percent so before opponent reduction it's about 500k um, and I'm not a big fan of needing to needing to get pinned to do stuff but let's let's see So we'll get everything going on turn one. I'm not going to cover up the greens because I want to explode them to make sure we help reload the red moves. And this is going to charge up our reversal as well. Um, Ivar thankfully has a... Uh, like he, he pins a lot so we'll be able to actually test the reversal against him.
And I say that and he doesn't have red or black matches. Go figure. Uh, so let's just do that again. And just keep blowing up the board with full fury. Aftershock plate triggers, which is nice. If we do that a third time, is he going to kick out? Is this risky business? We'll see. I feel like we'll be fine. We have very minimal gem defense, so... Okay, you should be able to kick out of that. And you should pin us, so we can see what the reversal is. Big man got hops, what? How have I never noticed that before? Whatever. Alright, so this is definitely going to pin us. And showboat, big health pool, and we're doing gem damage focus, so... We could kick out with a swipe. But we want to test the reversal. So yeah, 475,000 on the reversal. So not like a devastating amount of damage like Trickster Ray. But we've loaded everything up. And a bit of a busted mechanic here in the sense that I feel like if I, if I use this, I think it's going to pin him. We'll see. Yeah. So, <laughs> the, the mechanic states, gems broken during kickout do not have any effect. So they don't deal, well they did deal damage though. And they moved the pin bar, and they charged our moves. So, they had plenty of effect. Alright then. Let's just kick out of that. Such a weak, such a weak class. Oh right, did that already. So with the reversal is going to move the pin bar all the way towards the opponent instead of burning your moves, probably just better off to swipe. Because that burned us a little bit. It's like, we'll hit it for the damage. Yeah, so... We're better off just swiping here. And I know that's how it's been for a long time. isn't ready. Of course, now it's ready. So yeah, not, not sure I'm a fan of that. Like I said earlier, I'm not really a fan of reversal moves in general. Especially when we're blowing up the board. 
and recycling. I, I, I feel like we don't need the reversal to do that for us, but if you're going to put them on your showdown defense, by all means do it and piss off your opponents, right? All right. So that's the reversal. Let's see what other builds we can come up with. There's another three-star build I want to take a look at, so let's go do that. So one last note on the reversal build before we move on to something else. Um, if you have the tested loyalty plate, that's the one that came out with Stevie Ray. Uh, whenever you break six or more red gems, increase your red move damage by 75% for two turns. Um, that might be worth a look with these with this build. I don't have the plate. Um, and I'm not sure that's his best move set, but something to possibly consider if you get him and you get that plate. Okay, let's move on. This is what I wanted to run. So we are going to keep in the double red, which at three star is like very straightforward, can be very high damage and recycle quite well. And we're going to bring in black one, the scoop power slam, which is four MP. Deal 58,932 damage and increase your yellow gem damage by 175% for three turns, um, which is nuts. And I'm going to run this build twice with a different setup. So first, I want to try with double MP trainers just because my, my tour perks aren't maxed and I want to see, like, I want to get everything going on turn one. Um, but then we're going to try it again with Shane McMahon instead and boost the yellow gem damage as much as possible. So Butch for red, Bray for black, going to keep X-Pac, going to keep Santa Hogan. Uh, going to keep the belt the same, but we've brought back the uh, red percent and we're sticking with Aftershock in case we need help recycling. So let's take a peek. All right, so let's look first. As you know me, I like to document everything. Uh, 15,499 before activating the scoop power slam. And we could probably stack this a few times. So, Jesus Christ. Okay, so 42,622 with one activation. And you only need to break three black gems because it's a 4 MP move. Um, so if we go here, we'll get the three black gems, we'll get the three green gems for the plate, and we'll get three red gems as well to recycle. Lord Jesus. Let's just hope he doesn't pin us so we can stack this. Don't do it. Don't do it! Okay, thank you for not doing it. Uh, so, still got two turns on that. Still doing 42,000. Everything's ready to go again. So now we're at 69,745 with two stacks. Doesn't look like we're going to get a third because he's probably going to pin us. But... Go there. And we'll bop him. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't matter because he can't kick out. Damn! With no cascade whatsoever, we hit him for a mill. And with like no gem defense, other than the 20% from the metal, um, he couldn't kick out. So, that was crazy. But let's run it again and see how high we can boost up that yellow gem damage. So let's take a look at this moveset again, but we're going to bring in uh, Showboat Macho for 35% more yellow gem damage and Shane for 40% more gem damage. 
Uh, gonna keep everything the same, but want to see how high we can get these yellow gems. So we took off the MP trainers in hopes of being ready to go on turn two, but we're not getting... Oh yeah, we have an aftershock plate for this. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna get pinned, but let's start. So we're starting at 23,251. Boost the gem damage. To, oh my god, 63,940 with one stack of the plate. And it's three turns, so like even if he pins us, and we should be able to kick out in one, and we should still have another turn of the yellow damage. So we can try to get a second stack on there. Uh, let's go there. Um, or not. Why don't you just match your primary colors? Um, okay. Okay, let's try that again. Mm -hmm. Take that. We don't have a black match to stack this again. I'm probably just gonna swipe a bunch to try to set it up, ideally. There we go, okay. So we'll hit that and it was what, 63,000? Yep, yeah. so we'll take the black match so we can stack it again. So let's do that. And what does it look like with two stacks of the plate? 104,629 yellow gem damage for showboats that are supposed to be weak and not kicking out of shit. Speaking of not kicking out. Stay down. 1.26 mil. So that's kind of fun. That is kind of fun. All right, let's go back to the lab and see what else we can come up with. Okay, now we're gonna bring in the four star move, which is the delayed vertical suplex. It's eight MP, uh, black two. Deal 90,413 damage and choose six gems to make into yellow gems. So lots of possibilities with this move as well. What we're going to try first is double black with red one. So we're going to boost our yellow gem damage, throw, um, throw out the cross breaks, and then choose six to make into yellow. So it's basically just another way of... Um, we're essentially substituting black two, uh, red two with black two. Uh, slightly higher move damage. It is a little higher charge, but instead of making 12 cross breaks into yellow, we're just going to choose the yellow, the cross break gems and turn them yellow. So for this, we're going to do Bray for more black MP, Shane for more yellow gem damage, Santa Hogan to boost all of our gem damage, and Elias to help charge up the black moves faster. Uh, sticking with full fury, we have a black percent, and I didn't bother putting a plate on. You could do Bad Attitude, which is break blue, get black. You could do a cheap shot. Um, I didn't think it was all that necessary. So let's uh, let's see how this goes. So a black match would have been preferred. 
so we could double stack, but... Oh, yeah, give him a wild card. Good job, game. Whatever. Okay. So, we'll boost our damage. We will choose an area to make into cross breaks. And let's go here. Uh, break some black. No. Let's go. No, because we won't get that one. We won't get that one. This was a good spot the first time. And then delayed vertical suplex, so 200,000 damage, using it kind of like a finisher. So basically do that, and then put in some yellow gems where they're gonna break. I know how to place gems properly. So, 1.3 mil. So that was 200,000 move damage, 1.1 million gem damage. Um, I am gonna try this again, because I want a black match on turn one. Um, could substitute Elias for NWO Big Show. Mine is not nearly leveled for the coach ability, so I'm not gonna bother. But let's try that again. Hmm. All right, let's do it anyways. We can still double stack this. We can still double stack this. So, 52,000. We'll just take away his black match. Okay. So, yep, still active. Stack it again. So, 85,000 per. Put out your area of cross breaks. We'll go here. Get the black. Get some reds. And then use the delayed vertical suplex as a finisher. And then, I mean, like, you could connect them. It's not the end of the world. You just want to break as many as possible. So we'll go there to get that one as well. Cross breaks will handle the rest. So the first go around was 1.3 mil with a bit of a cascade. Uh, 1.48 with minimal cascading. If you have max tour perks, you can get everything going turn one. If you're okay waiting another turn to stack the yellow gem damage again, that's a very strong turn two. Which is fine. We, we don't need turn one wins for everything. Um, if you're going to get a really solid turn two win, I'm fine with that. Uh, let's see what else we can do with this four star move before we move on. So we're going to use the four star move in conjunction with the five star move. So we're bringing back the torture rack. Uh, we're using the delayed vertical suplex and we're bringing in yellow three, which is the flying forearm smash seven MP deal 82,678 damage and make 12 X break gems into black gems. So use the suplex to charge the torture rack and the fi flying forearm smash, and then hit the torture rack to get X break gems out and then turn them into black gems and just recycle, blow up the board. Works for me. So for this, we're going to do Bray for more black MP. It's not going to be turn one because I don't have max tour perks. You could always put on double MP trainers. 
Select Rick for more gem damage. MVP to reduce the uh, submission turns so we can keep enough X breaks on the board and hopefully all together so they can cascade together and go boom. And then Santa Hogan for more gem damage as well. Uh, belt, full fury, black percent, but I've brought in the cheap shot plate, so when you land a gem critical hit, reduce the damage of all your opponent's gems by 50% for one turn. You could use a plate that gives yellow MP, you could use a plate that gives black MP, since you're blowing up the board, there's bound to be three gems of whatever color you need to give you the MP that you need. So, let's see how this one looks. So, yeah. Almost. Almost turn one. Already on turn one. So, we just need two, three matches. Let's just cover up some of his red gems for fun. Those are ready to go. Hit the torture rack. It's only going to be one turn. So we're not using it to drain his MP. We're using it to get the X breaks out so we can convert them. Oh wow. We kept like almost all of them. Uh, you could use Titus. You're throwing out 20. Depending on how many the opponent breaks, you may want Titus to cover all of them, but we'll see. Or you could just do that. And that. Oh, he's gonna kick out though, he's got, yep. That's fine. We'll just use that again. And we're just going to scatter these around. We're not going to cover up any of the X breaks, but we want to just like put them in spots where they're going to break because it's our primary color and we're gonna refill the black move anyways so we might as well get the move damage from it and then we'll hit that there's the critical that should trigger the cheap shot plate yep and explode the entire board Ah, uh, he could have kicked out, he just didn't want to. So that's how the five star move works. Uh, everything else gives um, cross breaks. The submission is the one that gives X breaks. So that is one way to get that going. Let's go see if there's anything else we can come up with. Okay, so the last thing we're going to take a look at is the wolf pack tag link. And what I'm going to do with that is uh, focus on my yellow gem damage as much as possible. So we're going to bring back the three star build, uh, scoop power slam to increase our yellow gem damage, military press slam to make an uh, area of cross breaks, and the running knee lift to turn the cross breaks into yellow. So we're going to eat a turn here because I want to stack the damage as much as possible. So Shane for 40%, Macho for 35%. Uh, Santa Hogan for a flat 1100 and then X-Pac to charge the red moves faster. Um, if you had Masters of the Universe Austin, if you had uh, Modern Era Striker that we can't name, um, I believe those are the yellow gem damage coaches. I do not have them, but if you do, by all means use them. Uh, we're going to do Fury with the red percent and the cheap shot plate. And... Um, Close your eyes. It's sting! Um, 
had to do it. Sorry to anybody that doesn't have him, but also not sorry. Um, so we're getting 15% more gem damage. And he's just going to hang out on the apron the entire time. And let's see uh, what our yellow gem damage can get up to. I mean, they have matching shirts and everything. I had to use Wolfpack Sting. Don't at me. So our base is 24,000... 801 we are going to I mean go ahead and take a red match you don't have any red moves get that ready to go didn't drop in a black match that's fine so we're gonna stack this once And that's going to bring our yellow gem damage up to 68,202. We're going to go ahead and place the area of cross breaks. That looks like a decent spot for it. That looks even more decent with the red gems. And then make them into yellows. Oh, and he's not going to kick out. Okay, that's fine. Spoiler. So a cool 1.17 million damage. And I am going to run that back to see if I can double stack that um, black gem damage. So it might be turn three, but I just want to see what it can get up to. So let's run that back. Nice. That was actually like super ideal. We are really going to stack this three times. So 68. But we're not going to... I brought the wrong show of art. Oh well. Whatever. Just wanted to see. So double stacking is 111,604. That's nuts. Not that we need to turn them into yellows, we can just place and swipe. So let's do that instead. One hundred fifty-five thousand and six. Nice little random and six. Uh, so. We'll do that. We'll go there. I mean, not bad considering we had to swipe and couldn't use the, the red move, right? Good lord. Uh, another win for the showboats, I think. Another win for the showboats. Wolf pack in the house! What up, DJ? Alright. Let's close the book on Mr. Luger. Alright, so that is Lex Luger, Wolf Pack the Showboat. Um, hopefully I gave you a good enough in-depth look of this character. Um, lots of different ways to play him. That submission is going to be very strong, especially if you have the 200% sub damage feud perks. That's going to be nasty. Put some on tech Brock level. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think. Um, again, 
super versatile. You could do some da sub damage. You can do gem destruction. He's a lot of fun. Cut a lot of different move sets depending on the entourage you have available to you. So let me know in the comments what your favorite build was. Let me know if you're going to be, you know, trying to get him in whatever way you can. Um, yeah. Just hit me up in the comments. Even if you just want to say hi. Say hi in the comments. I'll say hi back. Uh, so thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.